Hey guys, I showed you the picture earlier of that giant panda plant I bought over the weekend and I just now finished taking it apart. I haven't even planted it back up yet. There is so much plant material that we took off of it and I want to show it all to you. It took me about four hours if you take out all my breaks and interruptions, but four hours to deconstruct this thing. And I'm going to have a video that we share on Saturday. I filmed all of this, like taking it apart, giving you tips, telling you what I'm doing. So look for that on Saturday on YouTube. We'll share a link in the group as well. But I just want to give you a quick behind the scenes, show you what the craziness looks like at my house right now with all of these cuttings and things from this giant plant. So uh, pardon the mess. We are in major work mode here. Okay, so this table is probably about two feet by two feet. This is one section of cuttings that we got from the plant. And then this tray has some leaves and a few cuttings, but mostly leaves that I haven't taken the time to lay out yet. And then more, ooh, shaky hand, more cuttings. Guys, there are so many cuttings from this. It's amazing. Um, and then over here are the trays where I have actually organized some leaves and my kids were helping me with that. So that was nice. Although they gave up after about 10 minutes. There are too many leaves for them. But so many cool little babies here. Um, and again, I'm going to show you this all in the video that we share uh, on YouTube on Saturday. I'll have like details. But like check this out. This is a ripped off leaf and it's got three little babies on it. And then this is just like succulent baby perfection. I'm probably a little biased at the moment, but I love the fuzzy succulent babies. They're just so cute. All succulent babies are cute, but anyway, a lot going on there. Oh, and like, check out this craziness. This leaf broke in the middle and it's growing on both ends. It's growing at the break and it's growing right where it was removed from the plant. So just craziness. All of these leaves uh, came off the plant before we even removed any cuttings. So they're kind of hiding in there. The plant was not very well treated beforehand, I will say that. So, and then this is like the main uh, stems. So I pulled them all out, rinsed off all the roots. These absolutely need to dry before they get repotted. I think I'm gonna put most of them in this felt bag right here because eh, they're just not really attractive. Because I realized the plant was just not in amazing shape, like it was pretty healthy but it was growing all sorts of weird directions so i wanted to kind of tame it down but these should grow you know new offshoots so we're going to keep them and see what happens these are three giant cuttings that i took off of it so yeah those will be we'll probably plant each of those either individually or in a large pot I'm not totally sure i need to find pots for all this plant material so many plants so many cuttings and then Oh, here's all the tripods. This is the soil that we broke off of all of it. Um, my lovely, I think it's called a hori hori knife that I used to cut apart the different sections once we got down to the roots. Oh, a couple more of the stems that I forgot to move over there. And this cutting was just loose on the plant when we got it. So the kids were looking for leaves and found that instead. Well, in addition to. And then... The main reason we got this plant is um, we found this adorable turtle talavera pot and that Henry just couldn't live without, apparently. And usually when they come succulent shopping with me, I'll usually let him pick something out. So he picked out this pot, and then he really wanted a panda plant. He's kind of obsessed with pandas right now. So we took a, a pretty good-sized cutting um, that we'll plant in there. So we're just waiting for everything to dry um, and then I will get it planted up. I also need to find pots. So if you guys have any pot recommendations, let me know because I definitely do not have enough already. Oh, and then those are the scissors that I use to do most of the cuttings. Um, I can throw a link in there for those. And then these are the cuttings that you already saw just on the other side of things. So that's what I was up to today. Happy President's Day to those of you in the US. Um, it was a very full day. I've spent most of the afternoon out here. We came out probably around 1130. I think it's what, like five o'clock or something now? Yeah, five o'clock. And I took a little break to make some food and basically I've just been cutting down this plant other than that. So 
It's been crazy. And I'm so excited to show you guys the video on Saturday. We're also going to be launching on Saturday the Successfully Propagating Succulents course. And in the course, I show you how to grow succulents from leaves, from cuttings, from pups or chicks, and from seeds. So a bunch of tutorials in there. And um, we're going to do some live Q&A sessions leading up to it. I'll just have to go take a break and map it all out for you. And we'll send out the details as we have them. But um, definitely look forward on Saturday on YouTube for the video where I show you the whole process of breaking this down. Talk about like why I cut stuff the way I did, how to cut it, what we're going to do with it after. So lots of good things. I'm super excited to show it with you guys. Hopefully you had an awesome holiday or just day in general. Um, I know most of you probably don't have 75 degree weather to go play out in your garden, but hopefully you got to at least do something, at least enjoy your beautiful succulents by looking at them. So have a fantastic evening. We'll talk to you guys later.